This person definitely sees you as someone they want marriage with, okay? Marriage and commitment is on this person's mind, all right? On a very, um, they're pretty serious about this. What's happening here is that this person right now, I think they're just testing the waters with you, okay? They want to rush in towards you. It is on their mind here, but I think they have trust issues. Now, either you walked away from this person here because I think you fought and fought and fought and fought for this person here, you know, fought for this relationship is what I'm getting. Or you, this person was just playing too many mind games with you and you walked away. Now that you walked away, this person is missing you, okay? This could be serious conflicts between you and this person here. But I feel that with this person here, this person is still probably uh, thinking about whether they should still pursue this or not, okay? Because you've already walked away, I feel. Uh, but they're testing the waters, okay? They're trying to stay very, very balanced. Seven of Cups, this person is very confused right now. What's the Five of Swords here? Was there in this guarded energy out here, okay? I think they have their ego up. You know, their guards are, they're very egoistic right now. What's the Five of Swords? What's the Five of Swords? They would definitely want to communicate with you. Sorry guys, sorry, I got interrupted. All right, so we were trying to see what was the Five of Swords. Let's see. Hmm. So this person out here is definitely, like I said, right? They're watching you from a distance out here, okay? I think they're trying to plan their next move out here, okay? They are someone here who, you could be dealing with someone here who's always chosen themselves and you could be someone who always chose this relationship, okay? And you've tried to make this work out with them over and over again. Even if some of you didn't try to work it over and over again with them, this was someone here definitely who you wanted to work on this connection with and they were always working on themselves, okay? Now they're watching, they're just watching you, okay? Doing your own thing. But they've still not given up on you, okay? They're testing the waters right now, but they would definitely want to come towards you and confront you or, you know, like, talk a lot. This person has a lot to say, but the way they express themselves is a little in and out, okay? Very temporary, you know, their communication, the, the communication comes in, then they leave. It comes in, then they leave. What is this person feeling? What is this person going to feel for the sign of Aries? In the next 24 hours, what is this person going to feel for this person, okay? What are their feelings towards Aries in the next 24 hours, please? Okay. Two more cards. What will this person feel? Mm-hmm. Okay. Same shit, different day, right? Still watching you from a distance. This person has a lot of fears out here, okay? They're going to be feeling very emotional about you, all right, in the next 24 hours. They're going to miss you to the core, okay? And they would definitely want a reconciliation with you. But with the seven of cups here, I feel this person's very overwhelmed. This is not someone here who's the best at making decisions, okay? Probably they feel that every um, option is good or probably this is someone here who is very focused on other options. Could be open to other options or could be open to trying to make other things work out. Maybe this person has a lot of things coming at them right now. Maybe they're very busy is also what I'm getting here. But yes, they're going to be feeling very emotional. Okay, so there could be a cut in communication and they're still watching you, spying on you. All right, but this person hasn't given up. They haven't given up here. What's the seven of cups? I think there's a lot of confusion here that this person has, but I'm getting more like this person has a lot of love for you and they just don't know which is the, which is the best road to come towards you. What's the seven of cups? <laughs> See? Yeah, 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 yeah. They want to take a leap of faith, okay? They definitely do. They see you as they're happily ever after here, but the fears that they have all this while, that's something that they need to work on. This person, I feel, has a habit, you know, of uh, thinking the worst outcome between you guys or always thinking negative or always thinking about what, how things can't work out. Fear, okay? Whatever their fear is, fears are towards you, it's all unrealistic, okay? But that's why they try to bury their emotions deep within. And you'll never know. You'll never know as until they don't tell you. You'll never know. I mean, it's like this is someone who's very good at suppressing their emotions, you know? A lot of illusions is what they're going through, okay? A lot of thinking about things that don't really exist, okay? But with the Three of Cups, yeah, this person definitely uh, thinks about the best times that you had with them. Okay, they definitely want to hang out with you. They want a reconciliation. Why the moon? Why the moon? What's the moon? Okay, on, for the moon. What's the moon? 
Yeah, see, because things have ended between you guys. What's happening here is that this person here is, um, it's like they're in two minds, okay? They want to communicate with you, but the thing out here is I feel that this person has fears that if they try to pursue you, if they try to come towards you, there are chances that things may backfire. Things may end badly. That is what their fear is out here, okay? Now, I don't know why they would think like that, okay? Uh, but, um, yeah, that's what they're thinking and that is what their biggest fear is. And that's what's keeping them confused. They want, they see a, they see a very strong soulmate connection with you, okay? They have a lot of passion for you. They're very attracted to you. But when it comes to taking action, that's when they're just like still in that procrastination mode, you know, rather than making a choice and thinking more practically. What action will this person take towards Aries in the next 24 hours, please? What action will this person take towards Aries in the next 24 hours? Wow. I seriously, seriously, seriously feel there is communication coming in. I feel this is communication coming in. This person is going to be very, very fed up, very exhausted, very stressed by the next 24 hours, within the next 24, 48 hours, whatever it is, okay? They are very close to ending a cycle. There's something here that is overburdening them, okay? That is very stressful here. This person cannot give up on you is what I'm getting here. Okay, this person cannot give up on you. They're still holding on to that. This person is very soon going to lay off any kind of situation that is becoming too much of a stress. I feel no communication between you guys is becoming too overwhelming for them. They're going to release that for sure. Okay, once and for all, they're ready to end this cycle and start a new cycle with you. This person is very willing, very determined to move towards you. Okay, this is someone like, I don't care. I'm just going to do whatever it takes to make this work out. Something has happened here. Okay, probably this person even has that fear of losing out on you because with the Knight of Swords here, this is someone who feels you're getting away and they don't want you to get away. I think they feel they've waited too long here, okay, and they're trying to um, come towards you is what I'm getting here. I think they tested the waters for too long, okay, and I think now they're coming towards you with that energy of like, I'm going to make that happen. What's the, uh, let's see, what's the Six of Swords? What's the Six of Swords? Yep. This person, most probably there are chances this person is having sleepless nights. Okay, they're thinking a lot about you. Oh yeah, there it is. You know what I feel? I feel that this person has a lot of love for you. Okay, they're very emotional about you and they want to make this work out with you. But the problem here is that you are not looking at them. I feel you're moving away from them. I feel like you're more focused on your money, your growth. Uh, you know, your own, uh, your own stability, security. This person is coming towards you being very emotional and you on the other hand here are being very practical and you're moving towards something else. I'm getting here for a lot of you Aries that you're okay without them. You're okay without them. Because it's like something, it's a situation where, you know, this person needs to come towards you. They, by the time they get their shit together, their willingness, their strength, okay, where they're like, you know what, I don't care what's happening. Uh, I'm coming towards Aries. I think you have already made up your mind somewhere, somehow that I'm okay without them. Because I see two queens here, okay? With the queen of cups and the queen of pentacles here. I still feel the queen of cups is the person you're dealing with, okay? This is someone who's very emotional, okay? Someone who was probably being emotionally very cold. This could be somebody who could be getting a little obsessed with you, okay? But here, I feel that you are showing up as the more practical one this time. And I feel what you're doing is you're moving towards a new beginning, a more practical beginning. So I feel here the practical beginning does not have to be a third person here. I feel this is someone here where you're like, you know what, I'm just going to focus on my career, focus on my goals, rather than focusing on wanting to make this relationship work out. Remember the Nine of Pentacles I told you where this could be someone here who was not focused here. This could also be you, okay, where you're trying to focus on yourself, okay, and you're not really g g looking at them. What's the uh, chariot? What's the chariot? Yeah, see, they're coming towards you. They are. They are. This could be someone here who was not opening their mouth all this while, being very tight-lipped about their intentions, about what they feel. You know why? Because of the moon here. This is someone here who suppresses their emotions a lot, okay, to the next level. 
And that's why they were probably just waiting, testing the waters. They were just trying to be very balanced, very moderate, okay? They didn't want to overdo things. But now they realize that that waiting period is probably uh, getting you more away from them rather than fixing things. But yeah, this person's coming towards you, okay? Coming towards you with an apology. So expect some communication, okay? I wouldn't be dead serious about communication. But this is definitely somebody who's coming towards you, okay? Say 24, 48, 72 hours. But yeah, there is going to be something where this person is going to talk to you about wanting to balance things out, wanting to have a new beginning with you. But you on the other hand here, I think you're going to be like, either you're going to ignore this person is what I'm getting. All the signs are doing this, you know, when the people come back, all the signs. I'm getting more like, you know, well, I waited for so long. What were you doing all this while? Most of the signs that I'm doing, they're all like, you know what? Uh, I think the people, you know, who are all coming back, right? The cross watchers or whoever, take it how it resonates. Someone kept the other person waiting too long, too long. Because I see the temperance here and I do see uh, seven of cups. All procrastination cards, you know, all about ending a cycle here. So, yeah, they're coming back is what I feel here. But you are not focused on them. You're investing your energies into something else, which is more practical rather than waiting for this person and being in that stressful energy, having those sleepless nights. But they're definitely coming towards you, okay? This is an apology. This is someone who's wanting to emotionally open up, okay? Because this is becoming too much for them. Last card for the Ten of Wands. Tell me, what's the Ten of Wands? What's the Ten of Wands? What's the Ten of Wands? <laughs> Money. This person could be going through a lot of money issues or this could be someone here but tradition could play a very important role between you guys. You could be dealing with someone here who's super conservative, okay? A, very, very materialistic. B, someone who's very focused on their money, always making money a priority or business a priority rather than a relationship. C, someone who I feel is very, very... Um, traditional and you know probably there is some difference between you guys okay because we see the six of cups so this is the soulmate energy there could be a significant difference between you guys age religion uh distance lifestyle whatever right but something's very different between you guys okay and now this person is wanting to change their beliefs and trying to come towards you okay so that's what i have for you uh hope you're seeing with me leave your comments below like share subscribe and i'll see you next time bye, -bye.